What is DAO's responsibility in all this, uh, with all the other issues that we had before as this feminist? I mean, obviously, we keep on doing the kinds of things that now has consistently done, uh, such as um, um, right now, kind of this afternoon, working to book, to reform welfare reform, um, and you know, supporting unions whenever we can, supporting people's efforts to organize, whether they're organizing into one of the unions, whether they're starting something absolutely new like a, a, sort of a workers' association uh, of their own. But then I was thinking, yeah, but is there a particularly feminist kind of thing we should be doing? Uh, is there a feminist approach to this economic crisis? And I don't have anything truly profound to say about that, but I think it makes me think a lot. First, I don't know whether this is a feminist insight or a humanist one or what. But I think one thing we have to push on is that this is not a crisis of the banks. This is not a crisis of the auto manufacturer. This is not a crisis of Wall Street CEOs. This is a crisis for people who cannot put food on the table anymore. Blood pressure medicines, or their cancer medicine, or whatever. That's just out of the, that's out, out of reach now. That's the crisis. That's what has to be addressed. That's the emergency. I do not want to see any more money going to banks yeah. and big companies. is, yes, we need jobs. And by the way, some of those bailouts are going, I like that almost spectacularly, the auto company bailouts are going to companies as they let people off. Right. Kind of misses the point. Yeah. And you're going to get all over the place. Mm -hmm. You get your government money and then turn around and outsource or lay off people. But, you know, I think one of the things we have to be bringing to the discussion is it is not enough to just talk about, quote, shovel-ready projects that will employ young men with strong backs. I want to see employment for young men with strong backs. I got nothing against that. But we need to see genera a generation of jobs that include home health aids, school aids, child care <laughs> our infrastructure in this country, but we have to rebuild our social infrastructure, which is falling apart. And so much of that is with, you know, traditionally women's work, traditionally women's jobs. If the corporations will not do that, will not generate these jobs, then I say, let the government generate it. Yeah, and if that's the socialist thing to say, well, do that. Yeah. <laughs> we have to bring to this discussion of this economic crisis. The on the top of jobs is the recognition that not everyone who is poor or is suffering right now needs a job because so many of them are already working, right. taking care of small children, taking care of our elderly parents, whatever. If we want to build a safety net, um, I think we have to start, and I didn't realize it's supposed to be all have one, but start with the immediate necessity of getting cash assistance and food assistance to people right away. <laughs> and she has to have been on the way. And you go in the center and, and to say, oh, I need money. I just, and now, this is the true story. Um, I have from a, a woman in, in Oregon, goes to Tanner for the three children. She's escaping a violent husband. Walks in on Friday afternoon, got three children in the car, no place to stay, 
What do I do? They said, oh, come back Monday, I'll help you find a job. No, children actually don't eat every two or three days. You know, it, it, they, it doesn't work like that. Human biology doesn't work like that. So I think we have to raise the issue again, and this is going back to something that now fought all around in the 90s, fought again, welfare, yeah. welfare reform, now, and there's Fish Ireland. Um, really, you know, I think they pulled out the stops on that. But the result of welfare reform, you know, has been that there's nothing out there for so many people, like Tristan, like others like I mentioned. Maybe we shouldn't call it welfare this time, because that, you know, maybe you miss a balance or something from the past, you know, whether that great point here, but, you know, we want to reform welfare anyway. Maybe we should call it something else. Maybe you say we should come out and say the truth, which is we are fighting for nothing less than the right to live. Right. And I think maybe that's what we call, in general, our feminist struggle for economic justice, the right to live movement. That's us.